Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 29 and in this video we're going to take a look at the this keyword. Alright then gang, so in the last lesson you saw me do something like this. I created an object called mycar2 and I gave it some properties and a function or a method right here and then we called one of those properties and the method down below right now. I'm going to take this one step further and introduce the this keyword to you because it's quite important as we go further down the line in creating objects, right? And we're going to delve into that a little bit deeper later on. For now we just want to introduce it. So what is the this keyword? Well, it's quite a complex abstract uh, idea, but essentially the this keyword refers to whatever object currently owns that space that you use the this keyword in, all right? So if I just say console.log, oops, this at the root of my document, right? That I'm not in any kind of object or function or anything here. I'm just at the root of my document and I'm gonna console dot log this to see what it is right and if I refresh it logs the window object right so right here at the root of my document the window owns the this keyword and if I was to console.log this anywhere on the top level or in some kind of anonymous function or something like that this would refer to the window object however right I'm gonna cut that come back up here and create a new method called test here and this is going to be a function where we're going to log the this keyword like that save that and then I'm going to call it right here my car 2 dot test all right so now let's refresh over here and this time it logs the object my car 2 because these are all the properties right and the method right here and here of the my car to object. So that's what this right here is referring to. And that's because in this context, within this object, this is owned by this object, right? Likewise, if we had another one, let's call this my car three, console.log this, and then we'll say my car two.test and my car three dot test right so it's going to log it out twice save and refresh this time we get two different objects yet the properties are the same but if we change this one to Sean and save again refresh now we can see that it's logging both objects so right here this refers to this object because my car 3 owns this context and up here, this refers to my car 2 because my car 2 owns this context. And you might think, well, instead of saying this, why can't I just write out my car 2? And yeah, you could do if you wanted to, but then if you were to do this, copy and paste it down here, change this to 3, you'd then have to go in and change every, uh, everywhere you've referred to my car 2 to my car 3. And it might not be once, it might be 10 times. And each time you create a new object like that, you're going to have to do that. So it's a great time saver. And it's also great for when you're creating constructor functions. All right. And we're going to get into that in the next lesson. I'm not going to talk about it now. Uh, I just wanted to introduce the this keyword right now. Okay. So this could be used for a method instead of test because we wouldn't have a test method normally. Let's create something a bit more exciting. Let's say log driver, yeah? And this is gonna be a function where we're gonna log the driver name. So we'll say console.log and then the string driver name is and we'll concatenate this dot driver, yeah? So remember, in this context, this is owned by my car too, so this would be the same as saying my car 2 dot driver which is the net ninja so this dot driver semicolon save and oh we need to call it um, my car 2 dot log driver it's recognized it there in intellisense then we'll call it using the parenthesis save that and refresh and this time we get it right here so this is work 
All right, guys, so that is your introduction to the this keyword. It's quite an abstract concept, but we're going to be using it again in the next lesson where we're going to take a look at the constructor functions or constructor methods within objects. If you have any questions about this so far, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those questions. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, or share these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.